Another big race is New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District, where Republican Tom MacArthur is battling Democratic challenger Andy Kim. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is in Bordentown with the latest on that race. If elected, Andy Kim will become the first Democrat to represent New Jersey's 3rd Congressional District in a decade. Eyewitness News caught up with Democrat Andy Kim after he cast his ballot here in the Bordentown Senior Center, bringing along his wife and two kids. I'm just really excited. I never thought that I'd run for Congress. I never thought that I'd have a chance to see my name on the ballot for a general election, bring my kids with me. New Jersey's third congressional district includes Democrat leading Burlington County and Republican leading Ocean County. Kim, a former national security advisor, believes one of the biggest issues voters are concerned with is health care. They're worried about where things are going. Republican Tom MacArthur, who is aiming for a third term, has sought to repeal the Affordable Care Act and told us last week some ads mislabeled him as anti-health care. They're going to lose Social Security. They're going to lose uh, coverage for pre-existing conditions. Those are lies. And, and they're putting millions of dollars behind those lies. Tom MacArthur is the worst of Washington. Tax cheater Andy Kim. These campaign ads threw just some of the political punches that plagued our airways for months. But voters we talked to today from both sides of the aisle agree it was actually Trump who brought them to the polls, even though he's not on the ballot. A lot of people are against what he's doing and want to see somebody make some changes. I know since Trump's not in office, my paycheck has gone up quite a bit. Um, I understand he's not the typical Republican, but I think that's what America wanted. We need a change. We need a, a check on the White House. Meantime, the number of people who voted early this midterm nationally shattered the record from 2014 with more than 36 million people who cast their ballot before Tuesday. In Bordentown, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.